Eyeless is uh, in flames, uh, watching fuse on demand. The album saved me from myself. I worked on it off and on for three and a half years. When I quit corn, I was I was doing a lot of drugs. Uh, you know, I wrote about it in my book, methamphetamines, and so I had a lot of healing time. So I was really excited to get to work on my solo music, but I was uh, stopped by my emotions and just I was kind of messed up in the head for a while, you know. So I had to get through the healing process. So I would record for like six months, take six months off, and then get all jazzed up about it, do it again. And then the book came up, so I wrote the book, and then so it was just on again, off again, and uh, finally it's it's out. And I'm excited. It's heavy. And it's, it's a story of my life, and it's just uh, I'm looking forward to it. Well, I kept saying that it was going to be out like this next summer, and then it just didn't happen. It just things weren't lined up right, and I like to say things are written, you know already and I'm just trying to get in the right timing you know I was talking to record labels and they just didn't know what to think of me back then you know everybody thought I was nuts but when you read the book you can tell I'm just I was a hurt person that needed some healing and some help and I needed a change a lot of people that hated me and thought I was a freak kind of respected me a lot I'm hearing after reading my book and stuff so that's pretty cool I get the spins when my eyes are shut. I When I was recording my album and we were talking to record companies and my manager at the time spoke to somebody that was an agent for uh, book deals and he said, we got you a book deal and I was like, where's the record deal? He's like, no bro, we got you a book deal, you're going to write a book and I'm like, I'm not an author, I play guitar, I'm a musician and uh, so I was like, alright, well I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it then. We hired a ghostwriter to write my book. He, he videotapes me, he started asking me all these questions about my life. So he was going to write the book for me just off my interview. He sent me the first page or the first couple of pages and I was like, no man, no, that's not it. And I started writing and then I just took off and wrote it myself. All he did was fix the punctuation. So, And it was a, like a 10 month process where I just poured out my, every, got everything out, you know, all the dirt from my past. And some of it was hard to write about. I was like, oh my, my mom's going to read this. <laughs> I just knew I had to do it. Inside, it was like a conversation going on. I was like, okay, you gotta do this. Wait, that? I haven't thought about that in a long time. Yeah, but you gotta do it because it's gonna help somebody out there and it's gonna cleanse you and other people can, you know, get something from it. It's not about you no more. And so I did struggle with that. And I remember giving my, my parents a copy the first time and my mom didn't sleep for like a day or two. She was like, it just was, you know, what did I do, you know, <laughs> what did I do wrong, but it wasn't her, it's all good though, she, she was proud of it after, you know, she thought it took courage from her youngest son to pour out his soul.